Hello everybody, welcome back to our Let's Play of D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die. I'm Tim. And I'm a broken piggy bank. And uh, we're back at the apartment. Bringing it back. We're in the prologue, but before we jump into episode one, I wanted to do a couple things around the apartment. One of my favorite things about this game is that it has a bunch of side quests in it. Um, and so I wanted to check out a side quest with a good old Fortress Kaysen. He pulled an all-nighter. I don't know how we know that. Because it says that right there. Uh, once a grizzly, now a teddy bear. Let's talk to him. Are you eating okay? Um, so there are different things we can talk to him about, but what I really am interested in these extra cases. Let's talk to him about food. What's up, David? Feeling hungry? A bit. Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Your badge says detective for a reason, Teddy. <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorite lines. <clears throat> <laughs> Go get Amanda. The more the merrier at the She's dinner. a cat! I don't know what force Case and sees her as a cat or as a person. I think that's a great question that... Maybe it would really have been explored been in season two, but we'll never know. <sighs> yeah. Tell me, Teddy. What's up with you and Diana? Nothing much. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. But both of you are originally from New York. <laughs> I thought you'd be double teaming me. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. <laughs> Mostly body. Diana Mostly body, yeah. <laughs> Still got her head stuck He's right cracked up in like New three York. crackers and it's piled so all the way up. <laughs> Baseball? Basketball? Not football. Bocce ball. <laughs> Lacrosse. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Food. Mm. Oh, um, this one's bigger. Much bigger. It's all about clam. Yeah! <laughs> Clam chowder. Clam chowder. Clam yeah. chowder. Clam chowder. No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. Angry at You're with me pizza. on this, right? Right? Huh? <laughs> uh, but Diana just can't see it. This is ridiculous. I have no basis for comparison. <laughs> He's a big eater. That's a what? huge problem. I think that's clam a 40. <laughs> So it's the but best it looks in the like world just a by group. default. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, David. <laughs> oh, that's like three come ons. They didn't subtitle them. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> they must have been improv Yeah. I can't say anything. <laughs> he did it on the day. <laughs> based on personal Originally, experience. it was just gesture. Personal experience. I on this. All I needed you to say was damn straight. <sighs> <laughs> Forced, it's a lesson. Your friends will always let you down. You like my Bostonian accent That's there? That's so good, Tim. Um, so it's funny. When you do these little things, you get little uh, reports here. Um, mm -hmm. Like we have this one about a Boston University student suddenly collapsed, um, died. He was a regular user of anabolic steroids. A large volume of steroids. A unrecognized pharmaceutical was also reported. New drug acted instantly. Also allowed the strength of user muscles to greatly increase, seemingly no physiological changes. Probably the blood thing, right? Yeah. Uh, quickly among athletes with black market trades conducted under the name B to the red powers the resemblance to dried blood. Made available in secrecy. No psychoactive. There's training in God. It's not some filthy narcotic. It's a way to obtain your true self. Okay. Uh, so that's basically some stuff about. Um, real blood. The nice thing is, eating with Kaysen gets our stamina all the way up, which we use doing everything. I want to check really quick if we can eat with him again. Anything I can help you with? No. No? Alright. So as the game goes along, we'll be able to unlock more quests. Let's ask him about this case. So how are the <clears throat> BPD tied up in this? The BPD has the special drugs unit, after all. The team. You once belonged to. <laughs> I feel like he should have known that thing. A long history of handling real blood. Our past real knowledge blood. can come in handy for real cases blood. like this. Coming one. this December. Real blood. So yeah, you can talk with him some more. 
I'm the kind of guy I like to exhaust dialogue trees. If people really want, I can go and talk to everybody. But so that he literally has every single line from every game memorized. Basically, yes. Yeah. This is some of our uh, research on it. Oh, these are extra cases. That's nice. So we did that one with force cases. <laughs> Likes then. clam chowder. Oh wait, dude, wait, there's more. Uh, oh, okay. of Bostonian, so that's like New Yorker, which puts them at each other's throats. <laughs> Jason <laughs> loves clam chowder so much he made it his password for everything. Even as an inspector, it's important to him. <laughs> I don't know why that was necessary. Really taste the best. I've never been clam chowder anywhere else, so honestly, I can't make the call. I can understand <clears> that. That seems like the kind of answer I would give. <laughs> oh, and so the nice thing is you can actually play records of the music from the game. Just like in real life. Yeah. Um, like this one. Like this, game, this, music, this game this music is really good. Except for that one when that guy was mumbling into the mic. Oh no, that was that was a good one. It really wasn't though. <laughs> I think, yeah. So then we'll play in the apartment as we're walking around. That makes sense. It's on your record. So Amanda also runs the store. She has her own music for it. Because <laughs> remember, it said that she brings back food. Oh, I get it now. Thanks. Yeah. You can also buy clothes from her. Don't, I could buy I a day two beard if I wanted to. Definitely need that one. Wait. Or the uh, the inmate, or poor performer set. <laughs> Dude, Japan is awesome. And then we have different sets for a good old Forrest Kaysen, <clears throat> strict principle. This is a suit. And then we also have sets for Amanda, which is a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, and you can buy tracks of soundtrack and other food. We don't really need food right now because our stamina just went up all the way. Nice. We can listen to this music all the time. Um, I did want to see, before we go into the bathroom, to see if we can go in the bedroom. <clears throat> Let's see here. We got the bed. King says. We used to sleep here together. Ah, oh, I love reading about hockey. I, th I like to imagine that he can only read in this position. Oh, okay. So you find little Peggy's letters around. And they have little things. The thought of you reading this makes me very happy. Hope you've calmed down a little. I love you as you are, and I'll love the day you'll become. This is the second time I've written a letter. Do you remember the first time? Today I found all my old letters. It's strange they've become your case materials. All the letters I ever sent, a perfect collection going back to high school days. They're obviously important to you, stored so neatly. Maybe you respect them too much to tear them open? Is that it? This is the challenge from Peggy I am now to the day you'll become. I've hidden my letters old and new. I want you to find all of me and all of our memories and know the Peggy I was, the Peggy I am now, and the Peggy I'll become. Little Peggy Young, September 14th, 2009. Which is like a year to the day before Halo Reach came out. Why, why, why is that important to him? Because I love Halo <laughs> and Halo games in general. Um, so we have all the different Force Case reports here that I've unlocked in a scrapbook. Um, that I th think you just pick these up in the world or get them from doing a side quest. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so we got a little sports trophy here. This is great. Oh yeah, the trophy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you good to see all your leaderboards? I wonder if I've had the most playtime out of all my friends. Who has the most playtime this game worldwide, I wonder? Coming in with 73 hours, 33 minutes and 53 seconds. Um, oh, that's incredibly earned. I kind of wanted to... Yeah, social. Oh wow, out of all my friends, I'm the only one on the leaderboard. What a surprise. Who could have guessed? What's the other tab? What do you mean? If you press RB. Uh, it'll be things like calories consumed. I've consumed 18,700 calories in this game. Clover touch score. You gotta stop touching those clovers, Tim. I know, I actually had zero. Oh, that's good. 
No touching clovers for this guy. Clovers are a weed. And uh, open this one up. So this is where we get our outfits. Um, so we can change it if we want to. Let's see, we got our Saturday night shirt. Amateur magician shirt. That one. Dandy gung shield. Let's look at all of them first. Okay. Maybe not all of them. <laughs> I have our all style t shirt, BK and BK. How t -shirt. can you have a do it yourself hoodie? Did he make it? I don't know actually. Is I guess, that what you wear when you make stuff? I guess, yeah. Relaxed hoodie, all style t shirt. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. FBI special agent, and then hockey wear. Definitely need that. Do you want to do the hockey wear? Yeah. Alright. Um, and then. I have sloppy beard right now. We got thin beard. That's not a beard. Mexican. Dandy. That's it. What are you thinking? Do you want to do the mustache? Uh, it's kind of disgusting, honestly. Do you just do this then? Yeah. All right. All right. We love hockey. We're gonna go back. Uh, let's see what casing you get. Oh, do you want to give him a red attention jacket? Yeah. Or wait, beach vacation. Did I do that wrong? <clears throat> okay, that's all the, uh... He definitely needs those red attention pants, though. Yeah. And then, um, red attention shoes? Yeah, probably. Alright, that's all we got for him. Oh, the wait, glasses. glasses. Him. No glasses. Attention. All right, I think yeah. that's good. That's fun. All right, and then uh, so I haven't met Olivia Jones yet, but we can change her outfit. She was supposed to be a much bigger character. Well, she kind of has a bit of a big role. What do you think? That's good. Sure. I wonder what type of cap she has. Just the Wait, same you can him. That just moves to the shirt. Dang it. Um, actually, it's a blouse. So. Sorry, I was wrong. Blouse. And then, uh. Some jazz in there. I know, it's nice. Alright. <laughs> we are ready to do it. There's my penguin jersey. You know, the Boston Penguins. My favorite team. So you've even got hockey gloves on. <laughs> this is really good. Um, anything cool if I look in the mirror? I was lucky to survive. Ooh. Ironically, though, I've got a best piece of evidence still lodged in my head. Why didn't they get it out? Maybe it's like he couldn't. If they did, he'd die. But... They need a Doctor Strange. Can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Time to put this shake. case on ice. You gotta shake off those gloves. Uh. What am I thinking about on the, the toilet here? Why do you always leave the toilet seat up, but then immediately just close it? Oh wait. When a desire goes unfulfilled, and there's some of my best thinking there. The power. <laughs> Stagnating like a blocked pond. Those are the mementos I seek. Those are the kind of memories that will invite me back <clears throat> into the past. So like, this is the kind of thing where you'd find like different mementos and you have a bunch and could like, you know, there's a lot of potential for a lot of great, some great story arcs, right? Some great yeah, seasons. Yeah, some great character development through those and maybe even introducing new like gameplay mechanics and, you know, just, if I think it's probably going to be the best game of, when did it come out? 2014. 2014. When we look back at the year? Yeah. I, I mean, you know, 2014... Wasn't necessarily the best year for video games. I mean, you did have some really good games come out of the year, but it was like the first full year of the new consoles and things weren't the best. Didn't All Shadow right. of Mordor come out that year? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, Shadow of Mordor is a great game. <laughs> Can I leave? It's probably one of my favorite games. Let's just see. What am I doing? <laughs> I can't go out dressed like this. I wonder if I could walk outside, actually. That's so much better. 
because later on you get to walk out on the uh, balcony there. What am I doing? Oh, I'll see you guys later. So this is where we kind of integrate the mirror's edge mechanics, right? It's fat. Yeah, this is when you do the uh, the nice uh, parkour. Yeah. Anything over here? That guy's window is open. Dim room. Binoculars. A plain young man, smooth blonde hair. Sad blue eyes. He's probably looking at a naked woman. Nothing sticks out to me. You just mm. said like seven things that do stick out to you. Well, no, nothing else besides that. Oh wait, is that a badge or something? I think it's just like paints. Oh, there's one. Looks valuable. Who left this here? Better go back inside. Amanda? <laughs> All right, so we are gonna go. Oh, what does the phone do? Oh, it saves. I should have saved. That was my problem. I feel like a dummy now. Hey, save my game. Hey guys, I was okay. Phone, gray, in, old uh, fashioned, in all nighter. Swery's last game. <laughs> uh, oh, what's up, Amanda? Want me to push her? Duck feather and whisker. Did you see that? Yeah. So he's aware. What's up? Unless he thinks she has a beard or something. Or is just crazy. Alright, <laughs> ready to go? Sorry, my wife's crawling up your leg. There we go. I'm good. Let's go. Alright. Prince from two people. All nighter? If only I'd been wearing my hockey jersey the day of the attack. <laughs> I could have protected her. <laughs> Don't look at my face. Thanks I'm for all the help. Huh. No problem, David. Thanks for the new wires. shirt. <laughs> I may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. These are my glasses. Uh, trace it all the way back. If I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place. Teddy. <laughs> no, no, no. What? No, no, no. I wonder if we'll learn about that in season two. Well, there's a good teaser at the end of this. Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. What does Amanda know? And how? I think... I wonder if we're going to find out that Forrest uh, Kaysen's full name is DeForest. DeForest Kaysen? DeForest, like DeForest Kelly, who played Bones in the original Star Trek. Right. May 14th, Little 2013. Babe. Time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> Probably not. Let's do this. It's a horrible sink right, Tim. Microsoft Studios. Again. Access Game. <laughs> Alright, that, well, that was a pretty good game. You yeah. Know? Um, <laughs> I feel like we learned a lot about ourselves and the characters and uh, how to, you know, really observe things closely. You know, maybe you look at the world in a different way. Yeah, so we're going to end it here at the end of the prologue. Uh, we did pretty well, I think. Got some good results. Well, you know, 90, 10. I mean, I guess if you round it up, it's 91. Yeah, that's pretty good. But really, <laughs> I know you can do better, too. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back with episode one and showcase the awesomeness that is D4. You have to think about the name? I almost said Deadly Premonition, because <laughs> that's this other game. Uh, yeah, you have anything you want to say to close us out? Uh, not this time. I'll think of a joke next time. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Thank you.